Thank you. I tell you, uh, how many of y'all know exactly where you were on 9-11? Me too. It'll never, ever leave my mind. It's been ingrained in my consciousness. And I was at church this morning, and I think Dave's story this morning is far more important than mine. Dave Herndon, a United States Air Force veteran. He was at the Pentagon, 9.30 a.m. September the 11th, standing outside the building when the American Airlines plane first hit the ground before it bounced into the Pentagon. He's told the story this morning about being 500 feet away, 500 feet away from that plane, and how his first thought was of his family, and how his wife, who was pregnant with their son, would be a widow. And his second thought was to run, baby run, baby run, he said. And he started running away from that plane. And after he got out of harm's way, the next thing he thought about was going back in and trying to rescue and help as many of the folks he possibly could. The beauty of his words this morning reminded me of what makes America great. It reminded me that in the worst of disasters, in the worst of times, our country comes together with an energy and a vigor about helping each other. Not the government showing up, but one on one, we show up where the fire is, like you all. Thank you for your service. One on one, we show up to take care of each other because we are our brother's keeper. And that is the words and that is the sound that resonated in his words this morning. That what makes America great is not its government, but its, its first responders, men and women who love the nation enough to put your own lives on the line. And I can't think of anything more memorable than David Herndon's comments this morning. Now I think about the fact that just in about an hour or so, I'll be getting on a plane, heading back to Washington, D.C. And I believe that now we are better than ever, that this is the safest day in the world to fly, because America has responded by bringing people together, by bringing our forces together, by bringing our attention together, and if we are going to continue to be the most amazing nation on God's green earth, it will be because the American people, we rise up in the midst of our challenges. We stand firm in spite of our enemies. And I believe that our future will be laced with days that are amazing. Because men and women, many of you all here today having served your country, Men and women standing together on behalf of someone else's freedom. I want to say thank you all for those who have served. God bless you, and God bless the most amazing story called America. Thank you.